Hi Aries, this is Crystal Rose and I'm here with your reading. So I'm going to uh, start with Psychic Tarot by John Holland. And I'm going to give you some advice at the end from Angel Answers by Radley Valentine. Okay? All right, so let's get cracking. Let's see what we have here. I've been in channel mode all day, so I'm curious to see how this flows because I've been in quite a flow. <laughs> ha! And as I say that, could I be more Aries? Oh my God. Spiritual strength. Do I know? Like I know, like I know. Because Aries knows spiritual strength. So you guys have to be strong about something right now. So let's see what's coming up here. I'm curious. I'm totally in Aries. I know what I have to be strong about, but let's see how the rest of the general population is doing. Or at least this tribe on this vibe that has found me. Welcome, my friends. Oh yeah, this is a big one. <sighs> okay. I don't, I don't hate it. So let me start with what I'm saying so far. I want to highlight that there is a lot of healing going on, like so much healing. Um, there's a transformation taking place. There's something new happening here, but I want you to notice that this person is also like clutching tightly to what they're holding on to there. This is a time of feeling scarcity, a lack of abundance, um, not safe, not protected. And at the same time, you know that you are protected. But what's required here is this spiritual strength. This is your faith and your forward movement. You're choosing to go behind the wall of protection that is provided to you by spirit. Um, the best choice that you have made so far and I don't know how long you should stay here and it looks like it's probably time to come out um was to kick it by the water <laughs> go hang by the beach take back hold back your energy um really just like spend time by yourself and do your own thing um because you're you're changing the game and I mean everything in life that you know of Whatever life has to offer, you're like, I want some of this. I want some of this. I said I wanted some of this before, but if that's not happening, then uh, send me this and this and this instead because I'm open. I'm game. I trust God to bring me whatever, but there's also like some decisions that you've made or need to keep making um, because I know you've made some and to keep going. So now that you're healing, resting, rejuvenating, trying to get your chakras back in balance, you have to decide what you're going to do with that energy. And right now, because there's a transformation happening in the background, because you do and you do and you do, right? You just keep doing. And sometimes you just need to relax. So remember, this started off with you like pulling your energy back, resting, going to the water, hit the lake, hit the ocean, hit the beach, what have you. Um, You've been through it though. So now's the time that you're pulling your energy back because you've been through it. You've been with with too many energies that weren't in alignment with the direction that you were going in. Um, I'm feeling like there was discord originally and now that there is some level of peace, you need to recover from what you've come through. Let's see what's next. There's some shadow work happening. What is this about? The way that you find your sense of security and stability. There's some shadow work here. So let me show you how I'm seeing that. There's the shadow. Okay, That's you facing some truths, looking at how you function, looking at your feelings, and saying like, okay, I have a foundation. I would like to build on that. I would like to create more. How can I do this without losing any of my spiritual strength that I've gained and without putting myself in a situation where I have to pull back my energy and emotions again. Okay, so let's see what's coming after this. Okay, 
So you're receiving some messages. They're coming through your third eye. The universe is supporting you because of an emotional loss that you have gone through. You have been through a lot and you went through it with somebody who really tried you and took you in circles and circles. And I feel like you had a foundation in the first place. And so this is you feeling like you ended up in a cycle again that you didn't want to be in, didn't deserve to be in, I'm hearing, deserve. And now you're like, okay, I did things differently this time. So I'm going to go ahead and congratulate myself and keep my strength. And I'm going to trust that God has a plan and that they're going to bring something that is what I've asked for. But at the same time, I cannot repeat old mistakes. And thank you, Jesus, stand your ground. With the newfound lessons that you have learned, stand your ground. Don't feel like you're being mean. Don't let people bully you and I'm hearing manipulate you. People do a really, really good job, especially against um, a very strong Aries because we're very strong, independent, we speak. Um, people will push your boundi boundaries to try to get things to go their way. So they will use self-pity and victimize themselves so that you will feel sorry for them and then come to the rescue and do some emotional work. The problem with that is when you get tired, you're going to run the hell away. And then when you run away, they're going to wonder... What else do I have to do to get their attention? I got them to help me for so long and now they're gone. They got tired. So now I'm going to bully them. I'm going to torture them. I'm going to gaslight them. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to become the ultimate narcissist. So depending on how, how giving and loving you were, you may or may not have encountered like uber narcissist level of stuff, right? But until that point, um, it's kind of smelled like the same situation that was happening before and rather than get stuck in going upstream you've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna change things I'm going to do things my way and people that fit into my world <laughs> will meet me here be patient with other people, be patient with what you're manifesting. You've already planted the seed. It's already growing and you don't know it. This is like, you ever not go into your backyard or visit someplace for a while? Like, you know, I have um, canyons up behind me, hills behind me where I go pick sage and stuff and go hiking. So there's, there's times where I don't head up there for a little while and then I go and there's just this wonderful bloom of these pretty yellow flowers and my sage bush has grown. It's like I had to let it breathe and leave it alone. So this is the part where you pull back your energy, let it breathe and leave it alone, okay? So that you can receive what you had coming, which namely is peace. Peace. Look at this peaceful flower, this energy, this, this, you created peace. You deserve peace. Stop chasing or allowing drama. I'm not going to say chasing. You've definitely learned that lesson from what I can see here. Yes. We have a victory coming. Success is coming your way. You're getting exactly what you asked for. I'm going to pull some advice cards for you. Let's go to angel answers. Ah. <sighs> Do you feel that sense of relief? He just made me like, ah, which is funny because it's me reading Aries reading me because I'm Aries. So really, like this is how I know I'm channeling because I get relief from what's coming out of my own mouth. Even, you know, just surprises and things when I'm reading other signs or what have you. And I know that that's not me because I'm reacting to it. So there's a good spiritual lesson for you. If you're wondering the difference between spirit's voice and your own, the way that you can tell is you'll actually react to your own thoughts and go, oh, that's a great idea. Or that's a, that's a neat surprise. Or, you know, um, I'm, I'm glad I thought of that. It, without you having already been on the, uh, on the track of solving something, like out of the blue information, that comes from somewhere unrelated to whatever you have going on. That's your intuition. That's the telepathy kicking in. So, uh, <laughs> I 
cannot make this up. Yes. Angel Answers, Radley Valentine. <laughs> Look. Come on. Come on. Clark Cognizance, that's your strength. Know like you know like you know. It's the first thing I said at the beginning of your reading. I'm done. I'm leaving it at that. You already know what's coming. You deserve it. Just be patient for two seconds, okay? If you'd like a personal reading, find me on ComfySoul.com. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to you. Congratulations on your zen. <laughs> Bye, guys.